Hi guys, Terry here. Hey, a little while ago, I think it was for the uh, Shop Hop in Ohio, I bought this uh, Spellbinders shopping cart die and I wanted to um, assemble it because I'm going to make uh, folks um, gift card. I'm going to put the gift card in the cart. So I want to make them each a card and put their gift cards in there. So this is my first attempt at it. Um, I thought it was a fantastic set. It sounds adorable here. So I have bought some, um, this uh, foil paper here is from Tonic Studio, and it's called, uh, this one's called Mirror, Mirror Card, and I bought the Marina Mist, and I also bought it in the uh, Petal Pink. So I thought the boys would be blue and the girls would get um, pink cards. So I'm giving it a try here. I'm kind of going by the picture that came with the die. And I'll tell you what, Spellbinders has all kinds of accessories to go with the stinking thing. It is so cute. So I've seen people make the um, cart in red also and make it look like a Target cart, uh, which is adorable. Um, but for now, I just want to get used to how to assemble it. It has a... Um, you can make it really thin um, 3D, you know, thin this way, or you can make it thicker with these pieces. So right now I'm just trying the thinner, and I'm kind of going by the colors that are on here. I see they've made the tires in black, and then the uh, metal uh, holder there at the bottom, I'm going to do that in a dark gray. And I'm going to do the two pieces that make it 3D in dark gray, and then I'm going to have the cart be shiny. So let me cut these on my die cutting machine, and I will be right back. Okay, um, the foil paper is pretty thick, so I ran it through twice. This piece popped out. And then um, this part of the die here has an outside piece and an inside piece. And then it's got all the little pieces that you pop out there. And that's working good. But yeah, I do recommend um, going back and forth a couple times just to get those pieces totally popped out there. So that's this piece. And then we've got the little pieces that I think is the corner of the cart and the... Uh, handle on the cart. So too cute. I love this blue. It is so sparkly. So um, like I said, these pieces are two separate pieces. So I laid them on the paper and then taped them down just to make sure they stayed in place there. And then these I cut out of the gray. And those are just popping right out. And then here's the tires. They're really tiny. Um, if they get stuck inside there, you can use a little um, pokey tool or simply drop them and it'll fall out there. Okay, so these little pieces here that add, make it be 3D, they are, um, what do you want to call it? They've got like a little, um, oh my gosh, they're like perforated so that you can fold them. And that is what's going to be, that piece is going to be what holds the cart away from the front of the card just to make it 3D. So you've got this piece and this piece. And if I remember right, you need to cut you need to cut two of these. So this one is going to be on the bottom of the basket. And then you need two of these for the front and the back of the cart. So let me cut another one of these. Um, I decided to cut the handle and the little uh, uh, cart bumper out of gray and you need to cut two of those also. 
So I used black and gray and my shiny piece. I've got all my pieces cut out here. Now let's start to assemble it. I'm going to use liquid glue. Um, I think that's going to work for this. So let me put the... Um, oh, the other thing that I'll say too is the pieces that make the cart 3D, um, you cut two of them, and then there's a little indentation on the one end. You can cut it so it's the short side of the cart. And I think there's two indentations, so I'm going to cut the other end of that off. And then we'll start gluing. Um, I can't wait to see people's reactions with these because they're going to say, how did you cut a shopping cart? <laughs> so, okay, so now let's put the, I probably should put the bottom piece on first because this end folds up to attach to the front and the back. So this piece is going to go on with glue, glue on the little tabby parts, get my glue going here. I've got my tweezers too, because I think I'm going to have my tweezers help me position this. Just give it a minute for that glue to take hold. I think you also could cut it and not necessarily make it 3D. Just have it be on the card. And that would work fine. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end here. I basically just don't want that tab to show. The tweezers are great for holding it in place while the glue dries, like that. I'll hold this one in place. Let me put a little glue on this tab, too. So I'm just going to hold it in place there. I've got the tweezers that don't require you to keep squeezing. So that's nice. They can hold that in while I'm holding this end. And just give it a minute. I think you also could use different types of glue, but I don't mind holding it for a second because the liquid glue gives me a minute to scoot it into place. And like I said, I don't know that it needs this 3D... Uh, feature other than if you are putting it on a card, this is what's going to hold it. Uh, this is what's going to make it so that the gift card doesn't fall out. And then get these little tabs inside here. How they come up with these inventions each year. I think this um, grocery cart came out last year and there's uh, three or four accessories that go with it. Um, one is like common household things like potted plants and a watering can. I'll have a link to the products that go with it, but it's so cute. So now we've got our little, um, you know, this is what's going to attach to the car to make it so that it's popped up. And uh, so you could also put like foam tape down both sides. Uh, the bottom is a little bit small. But I do know that you could pop up foam tape just to hold it away from the card there. I'll try to find a picture of the one that somebody made that looked like a Target cart. They even used a couple of um, circle dies to make the Target logo. Right. And then we've got the um, the bar that goes on here. So the bar, the cart handle, I'm going to put on this back. Put 
put it on this back piece here. Hold that again with the tweezers. Let that glue dry. And then like I said, at first I did the handles in the um, shiny foil, but then I realized they needed to be another color. So I've got the handle here in gray, just like the bottom of the cart. And I think you could do this in any color. Um, I just think to make it be a different color. Yeah, there's the handle. Okay, and then I thought this was cute. They even thought of the little, um, the little bumpers for the cart, which I think you could leave off, but I'll put them on here. That to me was a lot of detail. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so now we just have to attach the bottom. I also like that Spellbinders had an example on the packaging. So that's what I keep referring back to is looking at this and seeing how these tires and this is attached to the bottom of this. And then let's put glue along the back, along the handle. And then we'll put that on here. And I've left plenty of room so that whatever I fill the basket with here So how cute is that? I'm just enamored with it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Let me pull out a little bit. That is too cute. So you can imagine the gift cart sticking in there. And I'll insert pictures here of some examples that people have created and how they've filled it with all kinds of goodies. Let me hold that handle down there. Hold that in place. It's just so cute. It's just 3D enough. And like I said, they came with a piece that you could make it even uh, thicker depending on what all you were putting inside it. Um, I don't think that you're mailing this in the mail. I think it's just thick enough that it would either get smushed or, um, you know, not go through the mail. I think it would get smushed. So, to me, it's going to be something that I put in their stockings. And it's got the gift cards in it. And like I said, the boys are going to get the blue foil and the girls are going to get the pink. Which you, just, you don't necessarily have to do that, but it'll be how I can tell them apart. But I think this is going to be really cute. I'll have to do some uh, brainstorming on how to decorate it. Um, I've seen people put tissue in it so that it's got tissue. There's also, one of the accessories is shopping bags. So then you could put the tissue out of the shopping bags and then put the uh, gift receipt in it. So, isn't that cute? So, I just wanted to show you that. I thought that it was, it was incredible. So it's made by Spellbinders. Um, I'll have links to where I see it uh, in stock online on my blog post. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 4,000 by Christmas time. And I really appreciate you watching. So have a great week. Thanks.